hello and welcome to this new tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Active Directory domain services in Windows Server 2019 so what you see here is a Windows Server 2019 uh, virtual machine that I have uh, installed on VirtualBox and it has the IP address 192.168.111 I should also uh, change the name of this machine to make it something uh, meaningful and easier to manipulate I'm going to call it DC 2019 short for domain controller and to know 2019 is the version of uh, Windows Server click OK and it's going to ask me or to tell me that I need to restart the machine which I'm going uh, to do so let's restart <coughs> so one of the best uh, features uh, that makes uh, Windows Server an interesting system is its uh, Active Directory feature Active Directory integrates with most of Microsoft products and makes user management uh, easy and fun amongst other tasks. And this tutorial is going to help you install Active Directory domain services on a new uh, installed Windows Server 2019. You can set up Windows Server 2019 with VirtualBox like I did or you can use other products uh, such as uh, VMware Workstation which are uh, hypervisors of type 2 and on my channel I have a video that explains how to create a Windows Server 2019 uh, virtual machine with a virtual box hypervisor so let's get started the first thing we need to do is open uh, server manager which I have it already open here and if you don't have it open you can click on the start button and you will find here the server manager once you have the server manager open click on the link add roles and features and it is going to open the add roles and features uh, wizard click next on this uh, page select role based or feature based uh, installation and click next on this page select the destination uh, server select the server you are uh, uh, or you want to install uh, active directory on and click next for me I'm going to install active directory on this uh, same server which is DC 2019 with this IP address so click next as you can guess the role that we want to install is this one active directory domain services check this box a new uh, pop-up uh, comes up on the page just click add features and hit next so click add features and hit next on this page uh, select features just click next you will be presented with this page active directory domain uh, services click next as well this page is about confirming what you need to install before uh, actually installing it if you are sure about what you are uh, what you have chosen click on install to start the installation of Active Directory domain services the installation process is going to take uh, a few minutes depending on your uh, virtual machine resources of course when the installation finishes you will see this message installation succeeded but still there are configurations required 
click close to finish the installation of the Active Directory uh, domain services role and after you have finished installing Active Directory domain services the last step is to promote it to a domain controller so on the server manager now you will notice a yellow exclamation notification beside the manage uh, menu click on it and choose promote this server to a domain controller this one a new window uh, titled active directory domain services configuration uh, wizard is going uh, to appear we are going to add a new forest so choose new forest but in case you would wish to to do something different in this step you can choose to do so for example you can choose to add a domain controller to an existing domain or add a new domain to an existing forest but we are creating uh, the first forest itself so choose add a new forest and give your uh, root uh, domain name I'm going to choose uh, the name mydomain.com then click next on the domain controller options leave the defaults check it and input your password after that click next On the next page, DNS options, you will probably see an error on top with words a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created because the, authenti the authoritative parent zone name server cannot be found. Ignore it and click next. On the next uh, page, leave the NetBIOS domain name as default or you can you can change it as long as it is not longer than 15 characters then click next I'm going to leave it as default you can uh, change these paths if you want you have three paths one for database folder one for log files folder and one for the sysbol folder i'm going to leave everything to default values and click next on the review options page the server allows you to review what you have done so far if you are uh, confident that this is what you want to do click next In this step, uh, pre prerequisites will be validated before Active Directory Domain Services is installed. If you get an error uh, or if you get any errors here, please look at it and fix anything in the previous step. If all is okay, click install to start, to start the installation. After the installation of the, uh, or sorry, the configuration of the uh, Active Directory domain services, <coughs> the server will reboot and you can then log on into uh, domain with the credentials you set uh, before or during uh, the installation. <coughs> and you can no notice here that I am prompted to log in with the administrator of the uh, <coughs> domain which is my domain 
and not the administrator or or not the local administrator so let's enter the password that we have created during the installation of active directory and this way we have successfully uh, logged in as domain administrators and with this you have successfully installed active directory domain services and you can manage it with active directory administrative center i hope that you have found this video helpful for you in the next video we are going uh, to see how to add a uh, machine into the domain thank you for watching